Hi, this is the third time that someone has asked me for help because their batteries are running low, despite the fact that the alternator is spinning at three to 6,000 RPM. By the way, if you need more info about alternator RPM, check my other uh, video in link above. And uh, let's start with our topic. Let's look at the typical electrical connection. At the first sight, nothing is wrong. 24 volt alternator charges two batteries connected in series. On the middle terminal, we have 12 volts. So from 24 volt connection, we, we get 24 volts and 12 volts. Very convenient, right? A typical case that people describe to me is as follows. For example, they connect a 12 volt light or warning light on 12 volt terminal and then they connect DC to DC converter uh, 12 to 5 volt also on 12 volt terminal because the DC DC converter heats up less than if we connect it to 24 volts. And finally, we connect the motor driver, which needs 5 volt power supply for the electronic control and 24 uh, volt for power line. And now the problem. In order for two batteries connected in series to be charged evenly, they must be identical. If they are not, one may charge less than the other or may not charge at all. And we unfortunately did just that with this electrical wiring. Simply put, we changed two identical batteries into different ones. Okay, so that we don't just speak and don't know what we are doing, let's look at the simulation. V1 represents the alternator, R1 the first battery, R2 the second battery and R3 on the other hand represent the light or the DC-DC converter or both of them, doesn't really matter. For the sake of simplicity, let's say this is light. First, let's measure the currents. The current through the battery 1 is 1.68 amperes and it further divides into battery 2, which is 1.12 amperes and the light, which is 0 0.56 amperes. So the current across the first battery has split into two parts. And now let's look at the voltages. Voltage on battery one is 28 volts and on battery 2 the voltage is 11.2 volts which is below the nominal voltage of this battery. This battery has nominal voltage of 12 volts. So this battery will always discharge. But if we remove the second consumer, in our case the light, and run the simulation again, we can see that on now we have on battery 1 voltage of 28 volts and on the second terminal we have 14 volts as it's supposed to be. And now the solution. Let's look at the proper electrical wiring. Identical batteries are loaded evenly 
by always using only 24 volt terminal. So if we don't have 24 volt light, we can use two lights connected in series. And for a DC DC converter, we use one that is able to convert 24 volt into 5 volt. That's all for today. Uh, I hope that you have learned something new or that I have helped someone solve the problem with uh, discharging batteries. If you need any more advice, write me in the comment section. Uh, please support my channel by hitting like and subscribe button. And see you in next video. Bye.